This is for um, Jake, for Migo, and for Paolo, and Kyla. Did your parents talk about you on how to handle or best advice to handle bashers? Let's start with Kyla. Um, actually, I really believe that um, it's something you have to learn when you experience it. Because regardless of what anyone tells you on how to handle it, I feel like when the time comes na it um, it can really get overwhelming and you can forget yon. And so, um, I have been bashed in the past once and all my mom was telling me is na. Alamo, like you know yourself better than anyone, and we know you better than anyone. So um, you shouldn't be affected with what other people are saying about you because you know yourself more. So yun lang po. Okay, Migo. Uh, for me, I think it all boils down to the difference between criticizing and critiquing because um, maybe. Maybe um, if we take into account the mga sinasabi ng bashers, like if we find ways to improve ourselves, uh, listening to them or reading their comments, maybe we can, you know, improve ourselves also. But of course, there are also bashers that you know they just do it for fun. So the best way to deal with it is analyze it, read it, uh, then whatever you feel with it. If you think it will improve your uh, your uh, improve yourself as a person, as an actor, or something. Then maybe you can take it into account. But if it's not, then uh, maybe you can just laugh it off or something. You know, make a joke out of it. Jake. Um. Well, for me, because since my family is in um in the world of politics, you no, know, I'm kind of used to it growing up. Because our lives have, you know been an open book somehow but I'll just echo also what Kyla and Migo said Parang I'll take um, um, constructive criticism any day but when it comes to bashing as long as you know yourself and you're secure with yourself diba? you just basically have to practice self-control because they will never stop It's it comes with the territory okay Paula Hi, uh, yes, uh, tungko sa bashing, me and my brother and sister, si Marco and si Michelle, we've been getting a lot of hate comments because of our situation with our dad. Pero, sanay na kami. And anything na sinasabi ng mga ibang tao, we don't even get affected anymore. I think it's more on, kilala namin yung tatay namin. Kilala namin yung sarili namin. So these people who are typing hate comments behind the camera, behind their phone, we don't even know them. And then we don't even know if they're decent people. So, bakit naman natin re-entertain yung mga sinasabi nila? We know ourselves. We love our dad. And alam naman namin lahat na wala kaming sinasaktang tao. Thanks, Paolo. I guess I, I have to ask also Sela and Isabel, how do you handle bashers as early as now? And how do you intend to handle more bashers now that you're part of a family in Star Magic? Start with Sabel. Go. Actually, na bash na rin po ako before, and ang paghandle ko po ng bashers is by ignoring them. Kasi wala ka naman magagawa eh. If they continue on affecting you, ikaw rin po yung mahihirapan in the end. Kaya I choose not to pay attention and just ignore them. Sela? Uh, since naging part po ako ng group before MNL48, uh, yung experience ko po sa group na yun, madami po kaming bash and receive kasi medyo hindi siya pa, hindi pa tanggap ng masa yung aming concept. So, natutunan ko po while being there is kahit madaming bash ka ma-receive, huwag mo siya didibdibin. Gawin mo yun as a strength para mas mapagputihin pa yung craft mo. Kasi at the, at the end of the day, Ikaw naman yung harap sa tao eh, hindi po sila. Gawin mo lang yun pang lakas ng loob para mas mabuti mo yung iyong work. Thank you, Sela. Ria? A ako rin! Hala! Yeah, actually, yeah, there's a question here from Marinelle. Um, si 
although you're the host, they want to know your condition, your health condition, specifically your sleep desk. At ah, okay. Um, Most pagdating sa trabaho. Actually, it, it it really made me feel like I'm brand new again. Although there is still some pain after surgery, there's still some pain on my lower back. Um, I'm able to work better already. Actually, I really had it done para I could act properly. Ang hirap kasi ng iniisip na may body pain ka, tapos sa acting ka pa. Parang ang hirap na I promise. Um, but uh, two, I'm two months and 13 days post op, and I have an appointment again in five days. So far, so good. Nothing's wrong with it, naman. Although there is still heaviness, but I'm okay. And I, I'm off painkillers officially, so. There's that. Bless. We're okay. good. We're doing good. Thanks, Ri. Ri, before we ask the next question from um, Kat, I just need to ask this question to Kyla and Jake. Oh. I have one question for Kyla. Kyla, while your sister Ina isn't as active as now, what did you learn from her experience and then that you hope to apply sa journey mo 